Slim 4 authentication, less than 13, setting up Tailwind. So to get started, we're gonna add this route git. We're gonna add a base route. And we're just going to direct this to a new blade template we're gonna create called welcome. And so all welcome's going to do is, it's just gonna be a base template. There's not gonna be much to it, but we'll use this as an example of using our Tailwind CSS. So once we create welcome.blade.php, we're gonna extend layouts.app, and then within the content section, we are simply going to add some simple HTML. We're gonna create a div, an h1. h one's gonna say slim4 authentication, and then we're gonna create an h2. This h2 is simply going, eh, let's get rid of authentication. And this h2 is simply gonna say welcome to our slim4 authentication tutorial, exclamation point. All right, then of course, if we reload our page, and go back to our home page, we now get, after this weirdly long page load, we get slim auth. Welcome to our slim for authentication. After that, we're going to go to our layouts app.blade. We're gonna remove this global H1. All right, so now that we have a dummy template, let's get started and add Tailwind. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna run npm install. And we're gonna install Tailwind CSS. Okay, once Tailwind is installed, we're gonna to go to our webpack.mix. We're gonna add the second method. It's gonna be called dot sass. We're gonna point that to our unmade file resources sass slash app.scss and then publish that. Then we're gonna add a third method called options. And you can just copy this part. This is just so we can use Tailwind with Laravel mix. We're also going to have to create this Tailwind config.js. Once we have that set up, we're going to have to import Tailwind CSS by requiring Tailwind CSS. All right, once that's done, we're going to create our tailwind.config.js file. I'm gonna speed this part along, but as always, this will be in the GitHub repo if you don't wanna type all of this out. Okay, so now our webpack.mix has a Tailwind configuration file to point at. I'm also gonna add the I, I forgot to add earlier. So after that, let's go and let's actually create our resources sass slash app.scss file. Now our app.scss file is going to need to import a few things. The first is going to be Tailwind, and then it's going to be Tailwind CSS slash base, we're gonna copy that two more times. So it's gonna be tailwind CSS slash base, CSS slash components, and CSS slash utilities. I'm gonna boot down my npm run watch because I already had it going. Um, that way we can boot it up later together. So once we have that, now we can update or run npm run watch. And once that is booted, we should be able to go to our layout slash app use our new compiled app CSS file. Before we do that, here's what it looks like now. Um, our current page, as soon as we include the, uh, the link above, which is compiled to public CSS, which we define in our webpack, which is there, we can now import that using link rel is style sheet. And then we can just say the href to the style sheet is CSS slash app dot CSS. And then, oop, my bad guys, let me get rid of that head. All right, now when we reload our page, still doesn't look good, but we know we have our Tailwind CSS imported. So after that, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create a navigation bar. But to do that, we need to wrap our content and its own content section. And then we're gonna include sections.navigation.top. Okay, so now let's create our navigation. Um, first, we have to create our sections directory. Then we have to create our navigation directory. And come on, PHP Storm. All right, navigation directory. And then once we create our navigation directory, we're gonna create top.blade.php. 
we're going to create top left dot blade dot php and we're going to create top right dot blade dot php and then we're simply going to go and create one more file called logo dot blade dot php all right after that we're going to go into top dot blade dot php and we're going to create a new nav item and then we're going to add this tailwind SCSS, inset dash x zero, top zero, h20, flex, item center, justify, between, fixed, top. All right, so then once that's set up, we're gonna create two sections. This is gonna be our left section and our right section. Each is going to have the same class, flex, justify, around, item center. And then we're gonna include sections, navigation, top left, and then we're gonna do the same thing for the uh, section navigation top right. And the only difference is one is going to be justify around, the other is going to use justify end. Um, and then of course they will include what they need to include, which is top left or top right. Alrighty, alrighty, so that's looking good. After that we're going to go to our top left and we are simply going to say include sections navigation logo. So again, navigation top left section. Then we're just gonna add links that are only hashtags. So they don't actually go to a new page. We're gonna add home, about, and maybe a contact us. Let's add a contact us. And so hashtag contact, and then contact. All right. After that, we are actually going to go to our logo and we're gonna create a div with an ID of logo. And then we're going to give it slim as the text and then we are going to not do anything because we're already including that in our top left after that we'll go to our top right our sections navigation top right and we'll add login and we'll add register and register there we go okay finally when all of that is done we can go back to our layouts app.blade and everything should be working properly but we still want to add some CSS and so I'm going to fix up the indentation and then add this div that it looks like we're missing and this div needs to go above the script tag all right so we have our app we have our navigation bar we have our content next let's go back to our resources sas slash app dot CSS first we're going to set just the global CSS for our content and again you can speed this part up um, or you can just go to the GitHub repo and copy this. So we're going to add content. The padding is going to be 10 PX. The height is going to be 100 view height. Width is going to be 100%. Important just means that this overrides anything else um, as far as CSS set on this. Next, we're going to add our nav settings. We're going to say the height is 100%. The width is also 100%. And then for the background, we're going to basically copy the Slim4 documentation um, CSS. And the background color is gonna be like a dark gray, not quite black, but definitely more black than gray. Then we're gonna say for all the children divs and for all of any types, um, we're gonna use the star and then we're gonna add this. So this is all the nav links, color, font size, margin left, margin right. Finally, we're going to add the logo, logo CSS. And this is going to just copy the CSS that the Slim4 documentation uses in their top left um, logo. And so it's going to look a lot like the Slim4 documentation. And so it's going to be font style, normal, background color is going to be 255, 255, 255, 0.005. And then that's opacity as the last one. And then the color is going to be this uh, green color. And it's going to be 719E40. The font size is going to be 32px. And the line height is going to be 64px. Margin is going to be 0, 0, 0, negative 15px. And then we're going to say text align center. Text decoration, none. Width is going to be 114px. Alrighty. So that was a lot right there. So once that is done... Um, compiling at the bottom the final thing we're going to do is we're going to go to welcome.blade.php we're going to say the class um, for our welcome page container is going to be background white shadow medium whenever we hover the shadow is going to become extra large 
we're going to make this div like a rounded corner, the radius for the border. Border is going to be two. The width is going to be half the page width. The padding is going to be four and et cetera, et cetera. All of these classes I'm using are a part of Tailwind CSS. And so there we go. And I think we are good to go. So if we reload our page now, guys, check this out. La la. We now have our CSS SCSS set up. Click the links, we get contact about, but it's only the hashtag up there. The final thing I want to show you guys is that we can just add a link now by going to top left and I'll just call it another and we'll just do another, another link. And so if we go back, we reload our page, you'll see we have another link there. And finally, if you want to mess with Tailwind yourself, if you want to see what you can do, tailwindcss.com has all of the documentation you will need. So that's all I got for today, guys. Zachary Long, Clean Code Studio, Clean Code, Clean Life.